Have a brilliant day, everyone! Hello, mga ka chocolate cake! Welcome to our YouTube channel. And here we go again. We have another new topic to be discussed today. This is the online teacher blog. This is Teacher Owl. And we have another short blog video which is entitled Bucor Hiring. Facts frequently ask questions from the Bucor applicants about the recruitment. But before anything else, don't forget to click the notification bell icon, subscribe button, like, and share. So the meaning of Bucor is Bureau of Corrections since 1905. Reforming lives, community thrives under the Department of Justice, which is the Bureau of Corrections. So there are lots of frequent questions that ask by the Bucor applicants about this recruitment and we will discuss this in the following pages. Question number one, can applicants do walk-in applications? The answer is yes. Applicants may proceed to the Bucor in HQ's Human Resource Divisions or any of its human resource units in the six operation operating prison and penal farms subject to guidelines to the concerned LGU. To submit their application folders, they may also submit their scanned documents through email at bucor 2021 recruitment at gmail.com. Applicants who submit scanned documents through email will have to present them once they are scheduled for any of the, of the qualifying steps. Incomplete or invalid hard copies of documents will render the applicants ineligible to take the scheduled qualifying steps until full compliance with the required submissions. Question number two. Until when can applicants submit their application? Applicants may submit their application until April 30, 2021 for this cycle. Any submissions subsequent to this date shall be filed and included in any later recruitments, most probable of which will be the following year's recruitment cycle. Number three, will I have to take the qualifying examination? Pursuant to Section 34 RA 1131 or the Philippine Criminology Profession Act of 2018, registered criminologists are exempted from taking the Written Qualifying Examination or WQE and will immediately be scheduled for the Neuropsychiatric Examinations. Criminology graduates holding in eligibility such as the CSC, professional eligibility as well as applicants from other disciplines will have to take the WQE as the initial screening steps of the recruitment process. Question number four. I have submitted my application before. Do I need to submit it again? Yes, given that this is a new recruitment cycle, applicants will have to submit a new application folder in compliance with the new documentary requirements. Those who have submitted last January will have to update their submissions in compliance with the new requirements. Question number five, can I pull out my applications folder if I am not successful? No, please be informed that upon submission to the Bucor Human Resource Division and any of its human resource units, the folder and the contents therein are automatically considered the property of Bucor and shall be classified as confidential documents. Question number six. To whom will I address my letter of intent? Please address your letter of intent to Undersecretary General Q. Bantag, Director General MBP Reservation, Barangay Poblacion, Mountain Lupa City, to, through Mr. Theodore R. Perez, Acting Chief 
Human Resource Division. Number seven, question is, I am from outside of NCR. How can I obtain a clearance from the Philippine Directorate for Intelligence? Applicants from outside of NCR may obtain a PNP Day clearance from one of PNP's regional offices near nearest their residence. Question number eight. What are the applicable eligibilities? Second level eligibilities that require the completion of a bachelor's degree are applicable for the corrections officer one position or for any uniform position for that matter. Second level eligibility is applicable for Bucor's uniform personal positions are as follows. A or A1080 board eligibilities. B CSC career professional eligibility. C PD907 CSC eligibility. D penology eligibility. E police officer eligibility resulting from the examinations conducted by the Civil Service Commission on July 05, 1998 and thereafter. Number nine question I have to choose can I apply for a uniform personal position? Yes, however, your tattoo will have to be evaluated upon physical examination and it must be visible when wearing the uniform in the event that a candidate is eventually recruited. Question number 10. I used to work. I'm working for another government agency. Do I need to declare it in my application? Yes, as this will affect the candidate's nature of appointment in the event of his or her successful recruitment. For further inquiries, you may call the Bucor Human Resource Division at 02 8850 or 02865908 so thank you so much for watching mga chocolate cake mga chocolate cake i'm so happy that we've finished our topic today and hope you've learned a lot from this uh topic today so this is a, uh, to the king of kings and lord of lord jesus christ be all the glory majesty dominion and authority from the book of Revelation chapter 9 verse 6. Thank you and see you again next time only here in our channel. So this is the online teacher blog. See you again. Bye.